Welcome to my channel. Please enjoy the video. Guys, guys, do you see what I see? Do you hear what I hear? Jocelyn, Jocelyn, girl, girl, how you get Michael Jackson's outfit, girl? No, you didn't. Anyway, y'all, I got distracted with the last video. I wanted to add this. I forgot to add this. I am still not feeling well. I have the flu. But guys, I wanted to add this. Is it true that Azrael's mother signed custody over to R. Kelly? Okay, not him directly, but for her to be in his custody is the information that I received. Okay, guys, like I said, a lot of parents need to be held responsible for their actions as well. R. Kelly should not be standing trial alone. And that's just my opinion, guys. If this is true, because they were stating that Azrael came to the interview alone. Her parents were not even with her. Okay? I want to know if this is true, guys, because... Honey, Miss Clary is going to be draggable. I don't care at this point. Now, this was when she was 17. I just wanted to clarify this before I put the information out. You guys know I'm not going to put anything out that's not in writing or was not in a statement. Please verify that. Now, I was asking about Jocelyn, and I do apologize, guys, for calling Asbrell Jocelyn in the last video if you guys didn't catch on. Now, Tim Savage and his wife, Jonjolyn Savage's attorney, spoke out. Greg, Gerald Griggs, representing, he's representing the family. Um, and they accused R. Kelly of abusing their daughter, Jocelyn Savage. The Stockton Bridge couple appeared in that 2019 Surviving R. Kelly documentary series and talked about the uh, allegations that have rained down on R. Kelly. So during that verdict, guys, because I didn't hear anything until now, um, it was built on weeks of intense testimony, as we all know, and justice was served. Aaliyah got justice as well. Now, Rashonda Landfair will receive her justice as well. So, the Savage family say that they are relieved, but there's a rage of emotions as they work to reconnect with their daughter. Now, I wasn't sure, guys, because Jocelyn has been hiding, and like I stated, she was supposed to testify on the defense's side. Like I said, Judge Ann Donnelly did not allow because Kananik and his team decided to wait until the last minute to start calling Yes, they waited to the last minute to start getting witnesses ready for R. Kelly. And guys, this is what I was talking about. People act like R. Kelly was sitting in that courtroom without legal representation. And in fact, he was. And it seems like the defense was not ready for this trial at all. Was the trial rushed? No, in my opinion, they had more than enough time to come up with these witnesses. And like I stated, guys, some witnesses couldn't even come in. Okay. The witnesses for our Kelly side couldn't even come in. They had a hard time even rounding up witnesses, in my opinion. But yes, Jocelyn Savage was supposed to have testified in defense of daddy. So, guys, as we know, if you guys did not know, Kananik told the Associated Press that he was very disappointed and hoped to appeal. Now, here we go again, guys. Why would you be disappointed, Kananik, and hope to appeal when you had all the time in the world to defend your client? Okay, and I'm just trying to see, Mr. Kananik, guys, I don't want to be all over the place. But after the family of Jocelyn Savage said that they were relieved at the sentencing and at him being found guilty on those counts, Kananik told the Associated Press that he is very disappointed and hoped to appeal. On what grounds, Mr. Kananik? Oh, wait. Guys, please drop down in the comment section on what grounds do they have to appeal? 
Mr. Kananick had all the time in the world during this trial, before this trial, to come up with a proper defense for his client. Okay, guys, I am giving my opinion. Okay, however, we're going to keep it respectable, okay, on the Sweet Tea TV YouTube channel. Guys, he had all the time in the world to not even have to appeal, but to prove that his client was not guilty. As I stated in all my other commentary, guys, you know this. Like I said, R. Kelly needs to come up with a great defense for this next trial because like I said, guys, it's not looking good and we all know this. And when that sentence comes down in May, I'm not sure what to say at this point, guys. We already know what the outcome is going to be. Okay? And I'm not sad to say it because it is what it is. So for people doubting the other video that I did about Jocelyn Savage coming in to testify on R. Kelly's behalf, you don't have to believe me, but she was one of the star witnesses. And like I said, Kananick waited until the last minute to put those witnesses in. They were only able to come up with those few witnesses that came in to testify on his behalf because once again, it seems like the defense was not ready for this trial. And because the defense was not ready for the trial, does not give them a right to accuse the prosecution of railroading Mr. Cowley. Now, I know a defense has to, doesn't really have to do much. Allegedly, in a case, it's up to the prosecution who brought the indictments against Mr. Robert Sylvester Kelly to prove their case, in which they did. But it was also the defense's job because they want to state now that R. Kelly was railroaded, and I'm not going to buy that. They had every, every ounce of power within them to prove that their client was actually innocent if he was actually innocent. So, once again, Mr. Kananick, I'm not sure what you want to appeal as far as your client goes, but we'll see, guys, how this is going to play out. Even though I told you guys in the very beginning what my opinion was, and it came to fruition. Guys, so once again, Jocelyn's mother and father, Tim Savage, and Jocelyn Savage came out and spoke about how they felt on the guilty verdict. However, Jocelyn Savage is nowhere to be seen or found, okay? So let's figure out what happened to Mrs. Jocelyn. We would like to hear from her. Do you guys think she'll make an interview with Gail King as well, just like Azrael did? Do you guys think Azrael and Jocelyn will reunite one day and forgive each other and let bygones be bygones? However, we both know what they went through and it was not neither of their fault, okay? And do you guys think they'll ever forgive each other and at least keep in touch with each other? Or do you think they'll never speak again? And once again, guys, like I said, where did Jocelyn Savage go? Because guys, let's not forget, she was she did that unexpected radio station in, uh, interview. So guys, due to further research, Jocelyn Savage told that that previous Patreon page was not her. She claimed it was hacked. Now, I read in another article that it was actually Tim Savage and Jocelyn Savage, Jocelyn, behind that Instagram Patreon link on her, the, her Instagram page. And she was still with Robert at that time. Okay, so at that time, Jocelyn was his girlfriend. And she cleared the air about that Patreon page. Okay, she said someone put her name on there and allegedly hacked it in that video shared with TMZ. Savage shared not only was the account not hers, but she still was in that relationship with Kelly, who was currently in jail for that numerous charges from different states. Okay, so most of the clips she read off that iPhone while she expands her connection with Kelly, she says she just wanted everyone to know that she's still supporting him and she will never, ever betray him. She went on to say that in a regular contact with him via the phone calls every day and also she regularly visited him while he was in jail. So do you guys believe that Jocelyn is going to visit R. Kelly in prison? Okay, because she's going to have to do a lot of traveling. Because he's going to be jumping here from state to state. You know, he'll be 73. And, you know, 
I don't know. She says she's saddened and disappointed to learn what has happened. No further comment. Okay, so she just wants to be left alone. It seems like at this time, she is grieving the loss of her daddy, Mr. Robert Sylvester Kelly, and she misses him so much, it seems. And she still, still supports him, guys. What do you think about this? And if that is true, that her mom and dad went ahead and got that Patreon and was speaking out, pretending to be Jocelyn, like I said, guys, a lot of parents need to be on trial. R. Kelly should not be the only person on trial. I have stressed this over and over and over again. So is Rashonda Landfair's mother needs to be on trial with R. Kelly. When this case comes to Chicago, you accepted that payment. And when she accepted the payment as well, she was underage and had no control over that. And she should not face any legalities in the matter the parents should because they were responsible for their daughter okay and jocelyn's parents as well because that is fraud in my opinion someone made a statement that robert sylvester kelly stated that he paid somebody please send me more information on that because if these were payoffs this is another obstruction of justice charge okay Hey guys, thanks for watching my video. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell.